everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And for today's review, we're going to take a look at the new DC Collectible 7 inch scale Felicity Smoke figure from their Arrow TV series line. Now, this figure comes packaged in the same style of packaging we've seen with the other Arrow figures. You've got the white and green highlights, you've got the figure clearly displayed in the window box packaging with the Arrow logo down below. Off to the side, we have the name of the character, it tells us that this is figure number 8 in the series. On the one side of the packaging we have a look at the character from the TV series and then on the back we have a look at other figures in the line. So we have John Diggle which was released the other week that we looked at, Felicity Smoke, and then Arsenal which is yet to be released. And then down below it tells us the figure was sculpted by Eric Sosa. Okay, so let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside of the packaging. And I think DC Collectibles overall has done a pretty good job with this figure. My only real complaint comes with the glasses, which I'll go over in just a minute. But uh, real quick, the figure only comes with an extra pair of hands for accessories, which are kind of open to hold stuff or maybe to like type on the keyboard or something. Um, and then she comes with a pair of closed fisted hands. But that's the only accessory that she does come with. It would have been nice maybe if they'd given her some kind of computer to work on since you know that's what she's always doing on the TV show. But as it is, you just get the extra pair of hands. So paint applications on the figure I think are pretty solid for the most part and also pretty basic. You've just got a white shirt. Now you do have a little bit of different in white um, on the main shirt and then on her sleeves. Uh, the sleeve white is a little bit brighter at least on my figure. Skin tones seem to be pretty good on this and then she's got the black skirt and the skirt's just made with a, that kind of vinyl material so there's a little bit of give but the skirt definitely does restrict her leg movement to some extent which again we'll look at when we look at the articulation and then she's got the high heels on and some nice detailing with the hair. Um, I would recommend caution with the uh, ponytail it, you can kind of move it a little bit, you know, swerve it around, but definitely kind of has a feel like if you turned it or bent it too much, you could snap it off. So, again, I would recommend caution. And when you take the figure out, the ponytail is actually wrapped in a saran wrap type thing. So, and it's kind of a pain to get off of it. So, again, be careful when you're trying to uh, remove that plastic. I guess it's to protect it, but it's really kind of a pain to take off when you're taking it out of the packaging. Uh, the glasses, as I said, this is where my main complaint is with this figure. Um, basically, the glasses, they, they try to re uh, represent the frame as it appears in the TV series, which is multicolored. It's a multicolored frame. Um, if you notice the picture on the packaging, you, you can see it. Um, so the bottom of the frame of the glasses is kind of a yellowish, and then, and then the top part is, is black. But the... Basically, some of that yellow seems to have bled onto the actual lenses of the glasses, and so it almost looks like she's wearing yellow tinted glasses as opposed to the frame. I think it would have looked better if they had just made the glasses all black. Now, the glasses themselves are actually they're glued to the side of the head. Um, but they do appear to be a separate piece, so if you wanted to just remove her glasses, um, you could probably do that pretty easily. Um, that, to me, is really the biggest complaint. I do think the face sculpt overall is pretty good, though, um, minus the glasses. I think they nailed the face sculpt uh, to the actress's likeness uh, pretty good with this figure. Another minor complaint I have with the figure, and this may just be with mine, but down here near her ankle where the leg meets the foot, you can see where the plastic has gotten a little warped. Uh, the plastic on her leg kind of comes down over her foot, so when you move the foot around, it kind of bends that plastic so you can see some warping there. It's nothing too major, but just something I wanted to point out. The figure stands just a little bit over six and a half inches tall. For the most part, she seems to be in pretty good scale with the other figures in this line. So here she is next to Diggle. Now keep in mind she has uh, high heels on, so she's maybe a little bit shorter than Diggle, but they're pretty close to the same height. But again, that's with the high heels uh, on. Here she is next to Canary, and she's actually a little bit taller than Canary, again with the heels. And then the Arrow himself, and Arrow with his hood is a little bit taller. And then just for one more shirtless arrow, come here, baby. Mm, big smooch. Okay, so articulation on the figure, it's okay. It's not great. Uh, limited somewhat with the skirt, as I mentioned before. But the head's just on a ball joint, so she can look left and right. Um, even with the pigtail, she can look left and right. And she's got a little bit of up and down movement, but not a whole lot. 
Um, arms are attached with your standard ball hinge joints so she can get her arms all the way out. And she's got good rotation there. Single hinged elbow, so she can't bend her elbow that good. She does have the swivel at the elbow, and she has a swivel at the wrist, and the hinges on the wrist, so she's got the up and back movement with the hands. No, no midsection articulation, no waist swivel. Um, legs, I, I think it's, uh, I can't really tell because you can't see up the skirt that much, but um, because of the skirt, she can't, you know, she can't really do the splits at all, and she can't really do her legs forward much. Now she does have a rotating uh, look thigh joint it looks like so you can rotate the legs a bit there in the skirt but no uh, real upward or back and forth movement or out movement with the legs. She does have a double hinged knee so she can bend her knee good and then she's got the swivel at the ankle and she's got pretty good up and down movement. Again you have that plastic that kind of comes over the ankle which limits it a little bit but she's got overall pretty good movement there and then no uh, peg holes on the bottom of her feet. Okay, so that's my review. Overall, I like the figure. My only real complaint is with the glasses. I don't like how the yellow on the frame came out looking, but otherwise I think it's a pretty nice looking figure. And frankly, if you want to take those glasses off, I think you can do that pretty easily. Now, I am curious to know if people are really going to be interested in buying a figure like this. It is a pretty basic figure. You know, it's Felicity in just everyday clothes. You know, when this figure was first announced at Toy Fair earlier in the year, I did see a number of people that expressed, you know, that they were glad DC Collectibles was doing a, a civilian type figure like this. I'll be interested to hear from you all if this is one you do plan on picking up and adding to your collection. Also, minor spoiler, but did you catch the season opener of Arrow uh, last week on the CW? You know, we kind of got a shocker there at the end where they kind of flash forward six months and sh and showed Arrow, you know, in front of a in front of a grave, and apparently somebody has died that was pretty close to him. Um, we don't know yet who that is. My first thought was that it was Felicity's grave, but you know. Uh, you know, obviously I don't know one way or the other, but I'd be interested to hear your all's thoughts if you checked it out and, and who you think uh, is going to be in that grave. So this figure is out on shelves now. Check your local comic and specialty shops. Uh, we'll have a full gallery of images up at toynewseye.com. There's a link in the description below. And as always, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you later.